Now we'll talk about the idea of sample size. In a research study, the sample size is the number of population members that are included in the sample. Let's find the sample size in each of our three earlier examples. A person is recording the GPAs of 75 Stanford students. Then, the 75 people that, um, that data has been collected from are the sample and the sample size is 75. If a person is recording the incomes of 100 Google employees, then the sample includes the 100 Google employees, and the sample size is just 100. So the sample size is just the number. If a person is recording the hours slept per day by 130 college students, then the 130 people are all members of the sample, and the sample size is just 130. Let's now talk about sampling methods. There are different ways to select a sample from the population, and the two main types of sampling methods are random sampling and non-random sampling. Random sampling involves some type of random drawing or lottery system that gives all population members an equal chance of being selected to be in the sample. If I write down the name of, of every population member on a piece of paper, put all of the names into a hat, and then shake it up, and then and pull out names without looking, that should be random, or at least pretty random, as long as I'm doing it fairly. Also, w one way that random sampling is often done in actual research is by doing something called random digit dialing. There are computer programs that can create random phone numbers that are then dialed to reach possible participants, and if you assume that each person in the population has a phone, then random digit dialing gives each population member an equal chance of being selected. So um, random digit dialing would be an example of random sampling. The opposite of random sampling is non-random sampling, which is when participants are not selected randomly. If the researcher picks and chooses participants, or if the researcher puts up an advertisement and lets people decide whether they want to come forward and participate, um, that's non-random sampling. In either case, the participants aren't being selected by a random drawing. And non-random sampling doesn't give all population members an equal chance of being selected. The major difference between random and non-random sampling is that random sampling gives all population members an equal chance of being selected, and non-random sampling doesn't give all population members an equal chance of being selected.